Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe is a layered dessert with custard powder pudding. Just perfect for any day. Come, let's make it. Firstly, the custard. We need custard powder, cold milk, mix to a smooth paste, this is half a liter of warm milk, I'll add in the sugar, use a whisk and stir till the sugar dissolves completely in the milk. Put it back onto the heat at low, add in the custard powder dissolved in the milk, use the whisk to mix it up and keep stirring till it comes to a boil. That has started to thicken, turn off the heat, cover the surface with cling film. Make sure that it touches the entire surface, this will prevent the crust formation and let it cool down completely. Slices of homemade sponge cake, tin cherries, some cherry syrup from the tin. You could use sweetened milk or sugar syrup in its place. Chopped dried prunes, some chopped almonds, slice of the cake pieces thinly. The custard has cooled down. Just remove the cling fill. Click the link above for the perfect custard recipe. Quickly give it a whisk. Beat it till it's smooth once again. That looks good. It's always a fun idea to set your dessert in a glass or in a jar. For the bottom layer, line the base with cake. Try to fit in the cake slices into an even layer by pressing with your fingers. Drizzle the cake layer with some cherry juice that will keep it moist and also add a cherry flavor to it. That should be fine. Add in some prunes right at the edge. They look quite pretty. And some walnuts. I definitely meant almonds. Repeat for all the glasses. Top it with the custard. Try and drop it at the center and then use the spoon to spread it out. Make sure to completely cover the cake layer with the custard. Just clean up the mess. Use a napkin. Set them in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Cook the jelly as per the packet instructions. This is a raspberry flavored jelly. That looks done. So I'll turn off the heat. Pouring hot jelly into the glass is not a good idea. So just let it cool down a bit before you add it. Try the recipe. If you like it, leave your feedback in the comment section and share it with your friends. A few cherries for the special effects. Yeah, that's what I call it. Really looks cool. Let's get them into the fridge and set them for at least an hour before serving. Yeah, that's how it looks finally. Pretty, isn't it? Enjoy!